Crackdown on Turkish Kurds, human rights activists, journalists, and dissidents. Saeed Riza, a Turkish born US citizen and an ethnic Kurd, was among those wounded in the Tuesday melee. He told VOA that Erdogan's bodyguards threw him on the ground and kicked him in the head. This is not acceptable. They are they come over here as a bodyguard. They supposed to protect Erdogan. They do not supposed to attack the people, the citizen of the United States. This, the, 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 the police force of the United States, they do that. Witnesses say women and children were not spared. Somebody ordered them and they just attacked us. We had the elderly, we, we were the women were there and we had the kids with us. And they didn't mind. I saw the little girl on the floor, on the ground. I've got bumps on my head, my knees are all like, they, they you know, I just feel like, shoot. yeah, sure. I was knocked to the ground, they started kicking us, three, four men were kicking us. The victims are demanding justice. Washington police also were attacked when they tried to stop the violence. Metropolitan Police Chief Peter Mesham said the whole incident was videotaped and that the attackers will be pursued until they can be brought to justice. First and foremost, I will say that that's not something uh, that we will tolerate here in Washington, D.C. Uh, this is a city where people should be allowed to come and, and peacefully protest. A VOA video showed police struggling to protect a small group of protesters across the street from the embassy from being kicked and beaten by the attackers who refused officers' orders to stay away. Vladica Hope, VOA News, Washington.